Good afternoon, everyone. This is Matt Croissant over at Kia of Columbia here in Missouri, getting you some information on the 2022 Kia EV6 GT line all wheel drive. This vehicle is coming in the steel matte gray. So uh, just to you know talk about it up front this special paint coat does not have a clear coat on it it requires special paint care there is a special paint care guide inside there's even some attention brought to you on the driver window so this is a new thing that you'll see on some newer vehicles so make sure you do your research on it but uh, this is quite an awesome vehicle we're gonna really dig in today and uh, you know go through each and every little beady feature that this vehicle has to offer now if you're looking for um, overall energy specs and things like that feel free to hop online I'm really here to go over the features on the vehicle and what this GT line has to offer overall so um, the rest of that information is available online I'm here to dig in and get hands-on with you guys today I'm sure most of you that are familiar with my channel are aware of that already though. So up front we've got some nice LED daytime running lights up above, down below. Headlights are going to be full LED as well. You can see we've got front parking sensors as well as some sensors all the way on the side here too. You've got a 20 inch wheel set on this vehicle so you've got some awesome ride quality. It's also got a nice ride height to it as well we've got two-tone appearance with black painted a b and c pillars as well as on the hatch here and the mirrors turn indicators will be on the mirrors you've got a 360 degree camera system on here so of course you've got your side cameras right here blind spot monitors on the mirrors these are also power folding you've got flush door handles this is going to stay unlocked for now because i have the vehicle unlocked it's actually running right now this is a keyless entry button right here so you can actually press this to lock or unlock the vehicle it's beeping at me right now because it's like hey what the heck are you doing but you can see this is flush right here too all you have to do is just press and then pull like so we can see we also have those black accents on the trim down below here too get a nice large wide sunroof up above rear parking sensors and just as in the front those sensors are on the side as well more black trim on the rear bumper down here it's pretty sharp looking we've got a uh, nice third rear brake light down below right here dark chrome accents running as a band across the rear hatch full LED lighting on the rear here this is a smart power liftgate I'll be doing a demo on that this vehicle also has a uh, smart park capability. And uh, while we're talking about all these features, here's a quick peek at the key fob. Standard key fob, we've got all our buttons on the side, as well as our remote start features. Yes, it does have remote start. And our smart park technology too. The remote start is mostly for getting the climate um, up to speed in the vehicle. We can see we've got a nice uh, rear diffuser up top as well. Lots of aerodynamics coming into play with this beautiful vehicle. Let's take a moment on this side to just take it all in. We've got some privacy glass on the rear windows as well. This being a utility vehicle. Front camera is going to be right here. Front millimeter sensor for your smart cruise and emergency braking. And just so everybody is aware of most of the features we're going to be going over today, I'm going to break down the window sticker for you. MSRP on this vehicle is 58275 which is what we sell these vehicles for. So if you're interested in placing an order request with us for one of these, um, you know, feel free to get in contact. The uh, dealership website is down below in the description. So um, as far as mechanical features, the GT line has the nicer battery system. Uh, just like the wind does. It's got an onboard power generator, fast charging capability. 
Uh, as far as safety features goes, it's got, and some of these are passive things that I cannot actually physically show you, but we've got forward collision avoidance, blind spot collision avoidance, rear cross traffic collision avoidance, lane keep assist and lane follow assist. I can show you where the buttons are for that. We've got, again, the front and rear parking sensors. You also have safe exit assist and highway driving assistance. Um, this is going to break into the cruise control, which again, I can't show you. And the remote smart parking assist, we will be doing a demo of that. As you can see, I've got this beautiful parking spot set up right here to show you that awesome feature. We got, you know, full airbag suite here, dual 12.3 panoramic display with navigation, Android Auto, Apple CarPlay. It's got a Meridian audio system. Kia Connect, so you can actually uh, control this vehicle from your phone. Tons of great features there. Climate control, smart power tailgate. We've got an augmented reality heads up display in here. I'm going to show you guys the surround view monitor, wireless phone charging. This vehicle features vegan leather on the inside with some nice suede seating material as well. Heated and ventilated front seats, power seats. Um, these are for the rear wheel drive GT line, just so you know. Adding on to with the all-wheel drive package, you get the 20-inch wheels with a black finish, a greater range, 274 miles instead, um, the all-electric dual motor with 320 horsepower and 446 foot-pounds of torque, and uh, of course the heating materials, an extra heat pump, heated wheel, heated outboard rear seats too and this beautiful steel matte gray paint that you're seeing here and the suede seat package is gonna be featured in here with some cloth floor mats. So let's go ahead and dig on in here. Again, the matte finish exterior paint requires special care. So you know, and that guide is inside here for the owner. This vehicle is already spoken for. Uh, most, if not all of the plastic has been removed, but man, it's gonna, it took me longer to remove all the plastic than it will for me to make this video. Up top here, we've got memory seating, the tweeters for the Meridian audio system. Loving the finish on the speaker covers here. Just, I'm loving the honeycomb look on here. We've got power folding mirrors. Those will automatically fold and unfold for you with uh, approaching the vehicle. Locks, windows, front two windows are gonna be automatic for you. We've got a combo window child lock here. Nice piano black finish with this white accent too. You can see the two-tone array here. Storage in the doors here, as well as bottle holders in the door. Mostly plastic, but then we've got this recycled material finish on here too. Here is the vegan leather up top, but again, we see the suede package coming into play here. Got some beautiful stitching in here too. Loving the white stitching traveling across the bottom here. We've got a 10-way adjustable power driver seat. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. with the lumbar support. Uh, down below real quick, while we've got the angle, we can see we've got some LED lighting available down here for us near the center console area. This is quite a unique vehicle. It's actually uh, my first time in this vehicle since I'm not a you know direct salesperson anymore. But let's go ahead and dig on in. All right, to the left here, we can see more of that LED accenting here. Dash illumination control. This is going to be your charging uh, release here. Power lift gate, electric parking brake, and your traction control capability. Taking a look at the steering wheel, we can see it's got a sporty yet new age design to it. So we've got the D-shaped wheel here. Um, this gives you some extra leg room down here. It's a very spacious vehicle for sure, but also a little bit more control going through turns. We can see also over here too, we've got more of that LED accent right here once the door's been closed too. So you can see that reflecting off my hand and slightly off of the trim right here. So mounted on the steering wheel, we've got a slightly different setup. Typically with every other Kia steering wheel I've seen, we've had all of our entertainment on the left-hand side and driving and information tools on the right. But it looks like they've switched it up completely, which I like it, you know. So we'll start on the left-hand side this time. 
with our driving and information tools. This vehicle has smart cruise capability. It's a one-step activation. All you have to do is just get to your cruising speed, press this button, and it's set. From there, you can accelerate, decelerate, pause, or resume by pressing this button as well. Um, and then you can choose four different following distances with this button right here for the EV6 to maintain for you. Uh, the shortest one is great for just a normal day. I personally increase the following distance um, if I'm going at higher speeds to prevent any rock chipping or anything like that, or um, if the weather is a little bit more inclement. So that way you have a larger buffer for you and anybody else you're traveling with to keep you a little bit more safe, give the vehicle more time to react, uh, regardless of what's going on in front of you. And then here we've got our driving, I'm sorry, our information tools right here for our display, nice full digital display right here with this seamless display right here. Loving that. So let's go ahead and dig in here. We're on the first screen as we can see. This is going to be our uh, safety screen and safety and convenience so we can see we've got our uh, driving screen here for lane keep assistance uh, that should be active but um, we're gonna go ahead and go into the settings looks like we have a new display layout too instead of the purple we've got blue so let's go into our vehicle here driver assistances Wow this is awesome loving that very cool. So driving conveniences. Let's make sure everything's turned on. Lane safety assist. Okay, so now we see the icon has popped up right here. I want to make sure all of this is fully active for our demonstration for you guys today. Okay, awesome. We should be good to go. And we're going to dig into this too, guys. So this is going to be a long video. Feel free to take a seat pause if you need to but um, this is going to be a very in-depth review of this vehicle I'm excited for it so uh, this first screen right here will show you when the lines on the road are registered for you also with that being said uh, this is going to show you when the vehicle in front of you is registered as well this is where you're going to be able to select and see your driving distances and everything else involved with that so uh, moving downward here we saw our driver attention system. This is paying attention to how long you've been driving and with all of the safety features available. You know, if you're following too closely, uh, veering to the left and right a lot, um, accelerating or braking haphazardly, um, and this will recommend, hey, maybe it's time to take a break, and it will notify you multiple times. Um, you know, or if you've got a little bit of road hypnosis, anything like that, it's gonna make sure that you're safe at all times. Okay, moving over here, we've got driving information for your trip. So we've got trip info, um, average miles per kilowatt hour instead of uh, fuel economy here. So that's pretty cool. Trip timer after recharging. Accumulation info is going to be based off of the entire drive until these stats max out, you know, based on time or mileage. I think this can go all the way up to 9,999 miles. Navigation, this will show you your current cardinal direction, or if you are actually navigating, um, it will show you turn-by-turn -turn information. Um, along with your range, you'll be able to see, actually your range is over here, um, you'll get a checkered flag somewhere on here showing you how far away you are from your destination as well. Then the information screen, you've got an all-wheel drive screen uh, showing you where uh, power is being output to the wheels so that's pretty cool too you know it'll show you exactly where that power is going which I think is pretty neat so uh, from there you also have onboard tire pressure information now what else can we all see on here you know we've got a digital speedometer over here we've got our battery level here our recharging our energy recapturing level right here which is going to be for these paddle shifters I'll go over that in just a second our auto hold tech right here too ready it's basically telling you that the EV6 is on and drivable then over here we've got you know uh, if we're using power this is basically like your new tachometer or if we're charging 
our uh, energy range here, and then our odometer, and then our kilowatt hour usage. This is basically like your fuel economy right here and some ambient temperature too. We've got a traffic signal, drive selection, safety features that are available. We've also got lane follow assist right here that will pop up right next to the lane keep assistance. Um, that is going to keep you automatically centered in the lane while lane keep assistance will keep you from veering outside of the lane. So we can see with both of those active, uh, it's, it's very nice. So keeping uh, focus on the steering wheel for right now, we've got drive modes moved down right here too. So we've got sport, we can see the display just completely changed. We've got an eco mode as well. So we can see where um, displays will be put as far as your power and your charging, your energy recapture, or you can just put it in a normal mode. So this vehicle has plenty of performance. 446 foot-pounds of torque is no joke. 320 horsepower, also not that bad. Uh, this has the same 0 to 60 time as my Kia Stinger GT. So um, it's definitely got a, it packs a punch. There's actually a video online for this of this uh, race in some Highline cars, and I think maybe only the McLaren actually beat it. So uh, it's it's really cool. This is quite an awesome vehicle that Kia has put together here. So it looks like we also have a dedicated snow mode. We can hold this um, as it indicated. So you also have the ability to reduce your traction output um, or at least your torque output to prevent any slippage. So that's pretty cool too. So we can switch out of that. We'll just leave it in sport for now. That looks so awesome. All right, to the right, we've got most of our entertainment features. We can cycle through our audio sources. We've got voice recognition capability, um, tracks and presets, volume adjustment, phone calls, and our favorite button. So we press this, and we can see you can actually select what you want that to do, whether it's for phone calls, uh, changing the calling device, putting it in a privacy mode so you can just hold your phone, uh, to your ear, voice memos, you can record voice memos, or you've got some navigation features. You can also put the speakers in a quiet mode too. If you've got a little one or someone sleeping in the back, that'll reroute all the volume to the front speakers here, which we've got one, two, three, four. Oh, shoot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Wow. Nice. Okay, cool, cool. We also noticed right here, real quick, on the sport mode, this is all torque now instead so that information changes down below too that's neat okay so that's about it for the steering wheel except for the paddles so we can see um, this is for energy recapturing instead of shifting gears because you don't have gears anymore to shift through so you can increase it right here or decrease maybe we need to change the drive mode here let's put it in eco maybe it also needs to be in drive so I'm gonna put it in drive we see auto hold is active now so I can actually keep my foot off the brake for this there we go so you can change this to max and we can see I pedal is now on by clicking this all the way to the left right here maxing this out what this is gonna do it's basically one pedal driving at this point um, so once you take your foot off of the accelerator here which I would also like to point out has a little cool plus and minus on here for some more electric EV accents. Um, it's going to automatically start slowing the vehicle down and recapturing all of that energy from the braking uh, for the brushless motors. So uh, it's, it's really cool. This is going to allow you to recapture energy while you're coasting, while you're slowing down, while you're going downhill. So um, you don't just get energy for this vehicle by plugging it in, just so you all know. It's pretty, pretty neat. All right, so we'll go ahead and put it back in park for now. All right, so that's it for that. Steering wheel, you can unlock from right here. It tilts and it telescopes. You can get that exactly right where you need it to be. Left hand wand, it's going to be for your blink, blah, 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 blinkers, brights, and headlights. We've got some blind view monitor technology on here, as you can see. So, turning the blinker on in either direction will bring up a camera so you can see exactly what's going on in your blind spot here.
You've also got automatic high beams on this vehicle. So that icon just popped up right there. That'll turn the brights on and off for you at nighttime. Right hand one sports your front and rear wipers. Okay. Actually, no, just front wipers on this one. Even though it is a hatchback, it does not have a rear wiper back there. Sorry, that was just automatic motion for me to say that. But I will say these are automatic rain sensing wipers. So they did one swipe right now, but uh, because there is no moisture on here, uh, you won't have to worry about turning these wipers on or off. It'll sense the amount of moisture on the windshield and also calculate your speed and uh, just wipe those appropriately, appropriately for you. Um, also, because this is the steel matte gray, um, you don't have to worry about turning these off for going through an automatic car wash. I recommend you don't go through an automatic car wash. This paint coat requires special care. So I would get in contact with a detailer who is familiar with handling uh, this type of paint coat for that. Okay. All right, so that's it for the steering wheel right here. We're going to go ahead and take a look up above for just a second. Up here, we've got the nice uh, haptic lighting. So you just give that a tap. You actually don't even have to touch it. You can see I've activated this in a few different ways here with my hand. We've got the sunroof here with an automatic sunshade. It's one touch activation. You'll feel two clicks when you pull back on this for this to open up. It's got a nice wind diffuser right here so you can have this open at any and all speeds and you won't get that crazy vacuum or helicopter noise um, that you would have felt in previous vehicles. So we get that closed up here. We've got our Kia Connect buttons right here. Um, this will allow you to... Um, Kia Connect is an app on your phone that you can use. Uh, where you can remote start this vehicle. Um, since it's an EV, you can actually uh, set it to charge at peak times and hours. So it's the most affordable way to charge. Um, you can check the location, lock the doors. You can take a 360 degree camera image around the vehicle. Uh, tons of great features. Kia gives that to you for a year for free. And then it's you know roughly $200 annually after that i've got it on both of my kias i love those services i've got an auto dimming rear view mirror here uh, slightly borderless with home link garage controls down below and with yet another piece of plastic that i missed here <laughs> and then moving down here we're going to dig into the entertainment center so here is the home screen um, again instead of purple themed we've got this nice blue electric theme here we've got user profiles that you can set up for each individual that's attached to your Kia Connect services radio and media information here our battery level um, I'm assuming this may have some interactive features while you're driving to your range a glimpse at the map for navigation and then time and date over here and then all we have to do is just swipe oh, sorry I didn't want to do that Let's swipe over. Okay, that's what I wanted to do. Let's check out the EV screen here. This is going to show you where your nearest charging station is. It's at our Nissan store here in town. Um, we actually have our own charging location here too. Maybe we just haven't done our due diligence to get it added to all the different maps and applications that are available for EV users. So we have one here as well. I wish it would have shown that instead, but that's okay. Um, so from here, it will show you where those places are uh, with climate control on and climate control off, how many miles you have uh, for your range there. Um, looks like we've got you know time-specific charging available down here. If we break into the settings, okay, interesting, interesting, winter mode. So you can really get your charging dialed in from right here. This is mostly user features, so we'll break out of that. And then over here, you can see we can collapse that if you want just this screen here, or we've got dual application usage over here for even more information on this large screen right here. So lots to choose from. Compass is one, two, and three. Nice, they added some more there your calendar. You can also get this connected with your Kia Connect services, which you can also sync it up for navigation uh, for all of your activities and events for the day. It's pretty nice. Okay, interesting. What does this do? Ah. So this shows you your total range on the map. That's pretty awesome. 
lots there. So we already kind of saw the map. We've got navigation. Um, we'll go into the menu here so we can find Kia dealerships, uh, points of interest right here, charging stations are added in here. So um, with any navigation that you plan to, it's already going to pre-plan where you will need to charge as well. So. Um, using the onboard navigation system um, has become a or will become a necessity in the future with EV vehicles uh, for those longer distance trips. You've got phone projection for Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. You can record voice memos and store them in the vehicle while you're driving. Climate controls, uh, a valet mode if the vehicle is driven more than a mile from where you've handed off the keys to someone, that's a Kia Connect feature. Uh, quiet mode will reroute all of the volume to the front speakers right here. It's pretty nice. Traffic weather travel information. Let's go into the settings here. This is more just media. You've got digital users manuals. Let's dig in here. So going back to the vehicle, we went through our driver's assistances. You can see you can just pick and choose everything from right here. So like the smart cruise control. You can actually change it now based on the driving mode or the driving style of the driver. So driving style settings. Wow. You can really get it all dialed in. How fast it accelerates, how quickly it reacts to other vehicles, um, the driving distance, where you can change it to the driving mode as well. So whether you're in sport, snow, eco, or normal. Our conveniences. You can go through here let's see okay so this is all mostly just for convenience features drive mode brake mode so you can change your braking mode in here as well you can also adjust the climate control for eco mode as well so I've already I hear the fans already slowing down a little bit there so that's pretty neat eco vehicle so you can get all of your regeneration dialed in as well. You can lock the charging connector in so nobody can remove it. I don't know why somebody would do that. Active sound design as well. So you can actually create a driving sound as well for the vehicle. Advanced settings. What is this? Cool. So you can actually change how the vehicle sounds while it drives. So we've got stylish, dynamic, cyber, custom sound. Wow, what is this? Acceleration pedal response. Man, you can just do all kinds of things with this. That's, that's awesome. This is almost beyond me. I think I just need to buy one. What do you think, guys? Heads up display. Interesting. So we've got our augmented reality mode. This has a huge... Uh, heads up display here guys it's really hard to film though so I'm gonna apologize for that but you can see um, it's it's a huge display I mean it's it's taking up this much of my view it's it's very large in reality so um, again not something that I can film unfortunately I wish I could but uh, you're just gonna have to come check one out cluster theme selection so we can link it to the drive mode Looks like it just has the three themes on here. There's not a, any other custom themes like in some of the other vehicles, so you can just link it up. We'll turn the welcome sound on, which plays a nice little jingle there. Climate, seat, lights. Okay, so this is where I really want to break in here. So the seating, not too interested in that. Ambient lighting. Let's dig in here. So right now it's the blue flight. I'm not going to dim it. Oh, you can link it to the drive mode too. What? That's awesome. So that's very cool. We can link that to the drive mode as well. So let's see what happens. If I put it in normal, sport. Oh, it all changes to red like a freaking chameleon. Oh, yeah. Eco mode. What do we got? Just the standard blue. Oh, it gets even darker in normal mode so the blue is kind of a lighter uh, touch there almost like a teal instead of that that bolder blue snow mode what do we got kind of a, a white instead very nice I like that cool so instead of linking that up though just in case there's a color you really like 
you have preset colors with their benefits or we've got the custom color wheel where you can choose a multitude of colors if you want so say if you want this nice purple or you want to go with like an orange um, you've got tons of options and uh, that's going to be front in all the places that I showed you as well as accented in the rear here you can really see it with uh, it being much darker here in the rear of the hatch so lots to do there that's freaking neat so we'll go back here we'll set it to the uh, the blue flight for now but uh, lots to do in here we're already half an hour in guys thanks for all of your time so far um, just being as diligent as possible I'd love to know each and everything about this vehicle for anybody that ever has questions going into the doors we're going to turn on our smart lift gate so I can give you a demo of that here in a little bit. And then conveniences, we've got our welcome mirrors and lights. That's already uh, enabled too. So, all right, we're going to break out of the settings there. That's all I really wanted to go over for that. Everything else, uh, we'll leave it to the owner to customize. But I just want to go over the tidbits there for you. Oh, sound, let's check out sound too. So we've got the Meridian audio system. This is new to Kia as well. So it looks like we can change the sound profile for natural representation, dynamic, or you can custom tune that as well. I know we've got some audio files um, that are interested in this too. You know, even some of my Telluride owners, um, I've worked with the sound engineer, so you know, people like him will appreciate this. We've got the Meridian IntelliQ, so adaptive processing for ensuring a consistent experience depending on your speed. So you can change that and get that dialed in too. So glad we went over that. And of course, you can get in there, change your tuning, sound position, active sound design like we saw earlier. Uh, it's really cool. All right, so I think that's all the cool stuff in the settings that you can play with. Moving down, we've got these nice large vents that are closable. Hazard light control. And then here, this is either going to be climate control or navigation and uh, you know entertainment control. Right now, it's set to climate. It's a dual climate tri-auto blower temperature control system. So um, all you have to do is just set your temperature, and you can choose high, medium, or low volume airflow. You can also set it to driver only to save more energy. So just the driver fans are now blowing or the vents are now blowing. You can also turn on the heating feature as well to allow the heat from all of the battery and cooling systems down below you to rise up from the floor and naturally heat the vehicle as well. Lots of cool features in here, guys. So um, if you're done with your climate control, though, just tap right here. You can see you now have controls for your map, nav, a favorite button, which you can get connected for any of your apps. Um, you also do have a Wi-Fi hotspot on here. Oh, I'm feeling that heat from the seat. Oh, goodness gracious. No, no, no. <laughs> so it turns your heated seat on, too, when you do that. That's neat. Okay, so um, you do have onboard Wi-Fi, just so you know. Um, I'm sure that's a Kia access feature, and I think that's powered through, through Verizon. So you can always just add this vehicle to your phone plan as a device, too, just so you know. But uh, you can see that's very nice. They've condensed uh, the amount of buttons that you have in here, and you can see this in the new Kia Sportage as well. Uh, moving down below here for just a second, We've got uh, Type-B and Type-C USB ports. I'm using the camera to see right now. Another Type-C port here, 12 volt outlet. Tons of storage down below here too. So that's nice. This is a nice rubber mat here that appears to be removable if need be for cleaning. It is, you can pull this tab right here. You can yank that out, very nice. Moving back up here. Again, we've got heated and cooled seating with your heated steering wheel on this model. Here's your power button, shifter. It's all digital, of course. So we've got park, reverse, neutral, and drive. Putting the vehicle in reverse. You can hear that frequency slightly, letting you know the vehicle is backing up. Side mirror is automatically tilted down, so you've got a good view of the rear fender there. And then we've got our backup camera. So we see we've got projected pathing 
on the 360 and backup camera view showing you where the vehicle will travel to as long as nothing is getting close to these lines or coming in between them next to the vehicle you theoretically will not impact with anything blue box over here shows you where you're at in real time as well and then again the yellow box will show you where you're pathing parking sensors are here on your main display we can change the view so you can see we've got a rear overhead view with the center line right here again sides being represented by these side lines we can also check out those rear wheels too underneath the vehicle using the side cameras basically your blind view monitor view okay and we've also got this awesome 360 view of the vehicle you can just drag around I think you can no nope, no pinching or zooming but you can look all around the vehicle whether you're in drive or not to see exactly where you're at and what's going on. Oh, it's so freaking cool. This blew my mind when I was doing the SX Prestige Sportage. All right, putting it in drive. Of course, again, we've got auto hold, so now I can take my foot off the brake here. Pathing has changed to the front here now. We can, again, check the front wheels, make sure we're not curbing those 20-inch wheels. We've got the global overhead view with tire pathing as well showing you your tire path here so lots of different viewing angles putting it back in park you can see also you can just turn on the cameras at any time right here this is the auto hold button uh, with this vehicle it should automatically just be on each and every time you don't have to worry about turning this on or off so it's just like the rest of your convenience features at this point parking sensor controls we've got our cup holders with pressure tongs for smaller um, cans and then a little bit of extra storage right here wireless charging pad really like that that's in a nice spot i would say so you just put your phone right there boom so very nice charging indicator is going to be right here for you awesome and then just get my phone back in my pocket here guys all right opening this up um, this doesn't have any sort of uh, clasp or anything so it just opens right up and uh, you've got a nice deep well for storage here and then our glove box that's nice and deep that goes so far back we've got an LED light right there a couple guides right here owners for matte paint Here's your matte paint care guide right here, just so you know. This is a front bracket for front license plate users. All right, and then that's it for the front driving area, guys. Thanks for your time. That was a lot of time. But uh, if you're still here, appreciate you. Make sure you hit that subscribe and notification bell. Visors are gonna be mirrored, lit, clipped, and these are also telescopic, reaching the full length of the window for all of your shading needs. All right, let's go ahead and turn this off. Nice. Thanks, Kia. So that was cool. That's your welcome sound. That one was futuristic. All right. Moving into the rear hatch. Gonna give that a swing there. You can see all the doors are now conveniently open for me. Rear bottle holders, got these rear cargo bags here with some elastic. Then rear charging ports, more type C ports left and right here. We've got rear vents and more mist plastic, god dang it. So I'll go ahead and get those vents opened up here just so we've got some nice ventilation for the owner once they get in there, get some good circulation in here. Rear seating, as you can see, has the same stitching and vegan leather suede combo here. Uh, these seats are all the way leaned back right now so you can adjust the seating angle right here if need be, if you want that a little more upright. We've got a nice large armrest with some uh, cup holders here or just straight storage. That's nice. Oh, that goes a little ways back too. Cool, love that. Latch seating, of course, also available for all of your tethering and anchoring needs. The rear headrests here offer a nice coat or purse holder 
as well. So uh, this is going to be another great convenience feature you'll start to see in newer vehicles. This is also in the new Sportage as well. And then we've got handles, hooks, and lighting, and gosh dang it, sometimes you just got to look up sometimes. All this plastic in here, I tell you what. And of course the uh, seat belts up front are adjustable. Okay. Now we're going to go ahead and fold down this side here to show you some cargo capability. That's now locked into place, just so you know. And I'll show you how to fold down the rear seats from the rear as well. Let's not forget to glance over the outboard heated seating that's available on here too. I'm going to go ahead and lock the vehicle, give you guys a quick demo of the smart lift gate to get that open. Then we're going to find a way to get the smart park demo done too. So I think I'm far enough away from the vehicle right now. I can simply approach it with the key fob in my pocket. I'm just going to stand right here. Yep. Four beeps. This is going to automatically open. No kicks, no swipes, no looking silly in public. Just gets it done for you. Smart lift gate. Got some cloth floor mats here. Rear speakers for the Meridian audio system here. If you need full cargo capability, just pull this handle, swings that on down for you. As you can see this hatchback has tons of space. Lifting this up here, got a tire mobility kit. So this does not have a spare, but Kia does give you five years, 60,000 miles of roadside assistance. Not sure exactly what this is, but with one hand, I can't really open it. Let's see. Digging into these compartments. I think this very well may be just for servicing. It's a nice little spot for that to sit too. So that's cool. Gotcha. Interesting. Uh, this board, you can also pull back. You can see there's a second channel down below right here if you need more overall floor volume. If you've got the uh, cargo cover or tonneau cover, you can actually store it in the vehicle right here. This panel pops out. You can see you've got those cargo cover selection spots right there. 12 volt outlet and LED lighting is also going to be available back here too. All right. Power lift gate button is going to be right there. And the charging door is right here, just so you know. It's concealed very nicely right there. Very seamless look. All right. Real quick, I'm going to show you some passenger seat adjustability. 10-way adjustable on this side too. Just another quick peek at the storage over here. Looks like we've got a nice little cable router right there as well. Very thoughtful. Okay, Let's see if we can get some smart part going here. So I'm out of the vehicle and let's see, can I just hold this? No. Maybe lock Remote start. Yep, here we go. It's parking it all by itself. And yes, I did conveniently line it up. That's all you really need to do is just get the vehicle lined up here. It's already adjusting, as you saw, for the carnival next to it. It's getting lined up all on its own. I'm sure it's going to check for the curb here too. Yep, you saw that brief stop. It already knows it's close enough to the curb. So you can see how this technology really just gets it all dialed in, guys. And we're going to go ahead and reverse it too. Automatically turns on the reverse noise. and gets it backed up for us as well. Just in case you've got some tighter space at the airport here. And that guys is gonna wrap it up for the demonstration of the EV6. I'm gonna go ahead and turn the remote start back off here. So guys, thanks for your time. This is probably my longest video ever, but uh, I really do appreciate it. Make sure you like and share this video with your friends and family. Leave a comment if you have any compliments, questions, or corrections about any of the information I've provided to you today. Make sure you use that time signature feature in here because this is such a long video. 
Most importantly, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so that way you can stay up to date with all of the videos I'm uploading to this channel for your informational and shopping needs. As I mentioned earlier, this particular EV6 is spoken for, but we do sell these vehicles for MSRP and we always will. So if you'd like to get in contact with us, set up an order request or see what we might have available that you can take advantage of as well, feel free to use the link below to head over to keyofcolumbia.com and use the reserve my vehicle feature in the new vehicle drop down section. Thanks again, guys. This is Matt Croissant over at Kia of Columbia here in Missouri. We hope you're having a wonderful day.